veteran healthcare union leader, K. Tenelechami, was appointed as president of the National Trades Union Congress NTUC on Thursday, November 23, following the election of a new NTUC Central Committee. Ms. Tenelechami, 57, takes over the role from Ms. Mary Liu, who did not seek re-election after serving two terms as president. NTUC has a rule that requires its leaders to step down when they turn 62 to make way for younger successors. Ms. Tenelechami was elected as the president of the National University Hospital Employees Union Nuhu in 1998 and was the driving force behind the merger of Nuhu and the Health Corporation of Singapore Staff Union. NTUC said in a media release. This led to the successful formation in 2006 of the Healthcare Services Employees Union HSU, which she has led as president since 2011. Ms. Tenelechami was first elected to Ntuk's Central Committee in October 2015 and became one of its vice presidents in 2019. She also served as a nominated member of Parliament from 2016 to 2018. Earlier this year, we had renewed our Workers' Compact and it will be my duty as President to continue to champion the interests of our workers with the new Central Committee. Working on initiatives targeted at bettering their wages, welfare and work prospects, said Ms. Tanelechami after her election. They can be assured that we will continue to work alongside them in our renewed workers' compact. Ms. Liu, who was first elected president in 2015, expressed her thanks to fellow labor movement leaders, saying that her time at the helm was nothing short of enriching and fulfilling. As I conclude my second term, I extend my deepest gratitude for the unwavering support and collective leadership of my fellow NTUC Central Committee members and our union leaders across different sectors. Ms. Liu said in a statement, Their dedication to our workers' cause, robust debates on how best to help our workers, and taking action on the ground to make a difference in our members' lives really inspired me to do even more for our workers. About 450 delegates from Tux 58 affiliated unions elected Viaduct Secret Ballot, the new committee, for a four-year term, which will run from 2023 to 2027. The election was held at the 2023 NTUC National Delegates Conference, which took place on Wednesday and Thursday. NTUC holds a National Delegates Conference once every four years. A new 21-member committee was elected, with all 16 incumbent members who ran for re-election retaining their places in the labor movement's top decision-making body. The committee members then voted to elect office bearers among themselves. Mr. Ng Chi Meng, 55, was re-elected as Secretary General, while Mr. Orosu Duraisami, also 55, was elected as Secretary for Financial Affairs. Mr. Abdul Samad Abdul Wahab, 51, Mr. Andy Lim, 47, and Mr. Lim Tech Chuan, 51, were elected as Vice Presidents, while Ms. Cham Hui Fong, 55, and Mr. Desmond Tan, 53, were chosen as Deputy Secretary Generals. Mr. Hung Chi, how was also appointed as a Deputy Secretary General by the committee, bringing the total number of committee members to 22. The new members of the committee are Ms. Judy Chong. 51. President of the Food, Drinks and Allied Workers Union, Mr. Larry Gui. 43. Assistant General Secretary of the Singapore Maritime Officers Union, Mr. Daniel Lowe. 45. President of the Air Transport Executive Staff Union. Mr. Mike Mariopa Thiraman, 54, General Secretary of the Singapore Teachers Union, and Ms. No Idawati Jamurudin, 40, General Secretary of the Building Construction and Timber Industries Union. Speaking at a press conference on Thursday, Mr. Ng said he believes that the new Central Committee has the collective wisdom 
tenacity, and care to take challenging actions to benefit workers. As leaders of the labor movement, it is important that we work together to achieve a blend of dynamism and wisdom that will enable us to chart the way forward, building on the foundations of the past four years. He said, Only then can we forge strong partnerships to take action and anchor the future of the labor movement and bring about better outcomes for our workers. We will charge ahead and continue to innovate so that we can remain relevant to the workers. He added.